Okay, good morning. Today is going to be a Japanese omelette recipe called tamagoyaki. Well, tamago is egg, yaki means to grill or fry. And it's basically a rolled omelette in some sense, made with multiple layers. You can do many iterations of this. Today I'm going to do, you know, one that's just pretty normal. As my kind of first try, here's what I recommend. So I reckon for about six eggs per thing, depending, it could be a whole meal, not that people do it, but usually it's a little side for bento boxes you know, eaten cold often. So yeah, six eggs, roughly one tablespoon of dashi per, per egg. So six, a little bit of sugar as well, because it's supposed to be a little bit sweet, at least that's the normal one. Now dashi is just Japanese word for pretty much stock. And it's commonly made with kombu, kelp, and bonito flakes. You do need a very particular piece of equipment. You need a square or a rectangular shaped pan. You can buy good ones that are made of, I believe, cast steel or copper you can get non-stick ones you want to first make sure it's hot enough you know the eggs doesn't stick so you can roll it really well so once you put a little bit more oil than you'd like if it's non-stick not so much put a thin layer of egg on so it, you know fills the bottom of the pan very thin let it cook for a little bit what i recommend is scraping the edges around the outside so it, you know it doesn't stick to the walls of the pan you have to use chopsticks ideally once you do that get your chopsticks and Muster as much dexterity as you can. Flick the, the side that's closer towards you over so it starts making a fold. Now once you roll it the first time, very end of the pan away from you, you want to pour a little bit more egg mixture in so it covers the pan once again. However, this time, use the chopsticks to then lift up the roll, the first roll you did, and then tilt the pan so that all the egg gets underneath. And once it's cooked a little bit, not too much, it's okay if it's a little bit gooey and rory, tilt the pan towards you, use your chopsticks to roll you know, more layers onto it. It gets much easier the more rolls you do. And all you need to do is just keep repeating. Once it gets bigger, your chopsticks might puncture it. If it gets heavy, that's okay, you just gotta be a bit more patient. Uh, side note, you wanna make sure you put oil in each time. If you put the oil in properly the first time, it should somewhat put a thin layer underneath that's semi-permanent. That should help you through most of it. You just need a little bit of oil each time. Once you used up all your egg, up to you how you want to eat it. You want to eat hot, cold, lukewarm. I don't know. Yeah, enjoy it. Pretty good, sweet, high protein. I don't know, you might think the sugar's weird, but it does work well. And you can do different variations of it. A more savory variation, spring onion and a bit of bacon in. Another version with mentaiko, which is spiced cod roe. But yeah, you can be creative. Thanks for watching, please subscribe. It's getting a bit slow and sometimes discouraging, but I appreciate the viewership.